for nominal GDP. Now we don't need any information about what the base here is. The nominal GDP would simply be price in 2000, quantity in 2000, price in 2010, quantity in 2010, price in 2012, quantity in 2012. Here everything just changes. Now, take note of this. In the base year, real GDP is the same as the nominal GDP. And you see that here and here. Now, what we do with this information is we then take this information and we calculate a GDP deflator. A GDP deflator is a way it's our one of a method of measuring price changes. And essentially, um, the equation would be my nominal GDP over my real GDP times 100. And you would do that for the nominal GDP for that year. So let's say it was the 2012 index number that I want, the deflator number that I wanted. So my deflator for 2012 would be my nominal GDP in 2012, my real GDP in 2012, over 100. Then I can find the percentage change in my deflator numbers to get a good estimate of how much the prices have changed.